I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, short message from my number one sponsor, NetSuite. Here's the deal. If you're a business owner, you don't need them, NetSuite, to tell you it's tough to run a business because it is, right? We all know that. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. They're the world's number one cloud-based business system. They give you the visibility and control of your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. You want to join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. So schedule a free product tour now at netsuite.com slash school. That's netsuite.com slash school. I want to go through scripting. And, and, and it's interesting because if you read the book, The Way of the Wolf, yeah, I mean, you're sure it's a great book, right? I'm trying to sell you a book here, right? Sell me this book, right? Anyway, um, I start the chapter by saying, you know, it's an odd way to begin is to talk to you about the word charisma to start a chapter on scripting, but I, I do it that way for a specific reason because, you know, charisma is that special magnetic appeal, it's that attractive force that certain salespeople have that just makes them just freaking easily slide into rapport with people. And by having that charisma, right, it makes things really easy for you because without rapport, right, it's very difficult to close anyone because you can't influence when you're not in rapport. And I break down charisma by saying it's constructed of three different things. Right? Number one, it's based on the effective use of tonality. Right? Meaning that how you say what you say. Applying the right tonality is the right points in an oral presentation. It creates charisma. Someone that raises their voice, lowers their voice, speeds up, speaks quickly, and then slows down. It sounds good. And because of that, it brings us into rapport with them and creates that charisma, at least the first part of it. Right? The second aspect of charisma is the effective use or the targeted use of body language. And again, if you, you know, if you, when you were growing up, remember like the whole thing when someone really grossed you out, as you said in the East Coast when you were a kid, like the guy's got cooties, right? You had a cootie shot, remember that shit, right? Anyway, typically when someone really repels you, right, which is the opposite of rapport, they repel you, it's usually not what they say, right? It's more about, of, of course, the body language, how they, how they look, how they stand, how, how close they stand to you, right? How they dress, how they smile, how they groom themselves, how they make eye contact or don't, right? That's body language. So those are the first two elements of someone that has charisma, right? It's number one, effective use of tonality. Number two, the targeted use of body language, the right time, right body language. And number three, and this can be the hardest one of all for some people, which is not saying stupid and that's why I began the chapter on script building with the art of mastering charisma, essentially, right? It's because once you have those three things locked up, your body language, your tonality, and now not saying stupid shit, it allows you to maintain that all-important charisma. Like, the master of that was Bill Clinton. Remember the President Clinton? This guy would lie to us. I mean, he's, he's banging a fat chick in the Oval Office. I mean, the guy's, you know, he's like... Terrible, right? And but we loved him. We loved him. He said he didn't have sex, right? actually, right? Anyway, the point was like we love Bill Clinton and we connect with him because in that moment, when we were in his magnetic zone, we looked us in the eye and said, Oh, tell me how you know, how are you? I mean, what's your problem? I'm here to help. We he felt our pain in that instant that we were in his zone, we just said, you know, this guy cares about us, he understands us. That's charisma. So the two points, effective tonality, appropriate by lunch, we've covered them. Now it's time with essentially scripting, right, to go on to how do you say the right things, not just in the first few minutes of a sale, and this is the problem, right? In other words, what happens without a script is that typically the average salesperson, they can talk intelligently about their product and themselves and their company for a few minutes, right? But then as the sale starts to drag on, they start saying stupid This is all about strategic preparation. It's about taking the time, and I went through this on, the, on the, this week's intensive, right? It's about taking the time to map out the entire process of a, of, of a sale before you actually go through it. That's really what strategic preparation is about, and it's an integral part of succeeding with the straight line system. In other words, you have to know what you're going to say before you say it. And as I said yesterday, it's about that, you know, that scream from the hilltops, 
airtight, logical case. You gotta take the time to plan this shit out. You can't do it on the fly. You just can't, and I can't. No one is that eloquent. No one is that, you know, just like, you just, rip the best thing out of the top of you. That's why you prepare, all right? So I need you guys to really take this seriously. And re seriously, remember that a script is not just one script. The, the biggest mistake or the biggest miss I see when I go out there is that when I go to companies and do trainings, well, you, know, you know, I train the actual company, I get specific with the straight line, they'll hand me their script and it's usually like one little segment on like how to sell the product. Like, it'll be like, you know, just one little part of the sale. A straight line script is a series of scripts. You get it? it? It doesn't just, it's not like the script is like this one little part. A straight line script is a series of scripts that goes from the first word out of your mouth all the way to the end, includes your looping patterns and asking for referrals. Only, and typically you could stop there, but the point is you didn't want to ask for referrals after it. But the point is you need to have all aspects of the sale mapped out. When you have a great straight line script, not only can you go the entire length of the sale without saying anything stupid, but it also sets you up for each of those, essentially those five core elements. It shows you, it follows the pathway of lining up the five core elements in exactly the right order. Logic first, emotion second. In other words, the script gives you the roadmap for doing that. Otherwise, you're flying all over the place. I remember the, 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 the Funniest training I ever did was when I, oh, many, many years back, I walked into a company, right? And they were using this script, and it was on a giant piece of oak tan, right? Like a, like a big square, like three feet by three feet, right? With shit all over the place, arrows going every which way. It was like the opposite of the straight line. It was the circuitous crooked line. It was ridiculous, right? And their closing rate was shit. They were closing like three sales a month with like 15 people, it was terrible, right? It was like a side business to this guy's main business. So like, he didn't really care, but you know, it was, it was losing money, but he's like, he was able to still stay in business, right? Anyway, the first thing I did when I walked in there is I took the script and I lit it on fire in front of the whole sales force. I said, this is the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. I lit it on fire and it wouldn't catch fire. I said, it's so cold, it won't even fucking burn. It's like, it's fire resistant, right? I lit the script on fire and I, taught them the straight line, I rewrote their scripts for them, right? Taught them how to use the straight line. The company went from, from three sales a month to 145 sales the next month, all right? Because they had a basis to take control of the sale from the first second all the way to the end. Now, I know you guys know this stuff, but I wanna reinforce that you need to really, you know, and just, you know, you need to really make sure your script ticks every single box. It, it, it adheres to every rule that I go through in the straight when I teach you guys the scripting module specifically. Like I've done this on, on intensives where I've gone through the rules of creating great scripts. Go back to those intensives where I get specific on the rules and say, is my script ticking all those boxes? Every time you violate a rule, whether it's going from, not going from big picture to small picture, whether you leave out, it's a big one, leaving out your stopping off points along the way, where you just talk, 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 so you don't say, does that make sense to you? You got to see them. No, you got to have stopping off points, right? You got to close with energy in, benefits out, and here's that equation. All the rules are there. I've laid those out for you. I want you to take your script, go through it, and say, does it really, I mean, really, does it really adhere to every rule? Now, you might have already done this, but if you have, I want you to do it again. Why? Because you know what happens? You probably did this a couple of months ago, right? You've gotten better. You understand your product more deeply now. You can add things to it, add new ideas. A script is a work in progress. You never stop updating it. You never stop improving it. You get it? So that's why no matter how good your script you think is, you think your script is, go through it again. Make it better. It's about constant and never ending improvement. And once you have a kick -ass script, guys, it makes the application of the straight line so much easier. And without a good script, you know, you gotta be in that top 5% of closers to really use the straight line at all. It's because when you don't know what you're gonna say before you say it, you have to be blessed 
with all the tools, natural instincts of a world-class closer, or else you end up going off to Pluto, you end up breaking rapport, or leaving out one of those core elements. And just so you know, guys, I use, and I'm a born close as much as they get, right? I always use a script. Whether I'm in person or over the phone, if I'm gonna be selling something in perpetuity, meaning it's not just a one, if I get, I'm gonna actually be digging into something, I will first map it out and write myself a script. I will never just wing it. And again, the perfect example is that training with the milk company, right? You, you all know the story there, right? That was a script that I wrote right before they came in. It was a mock sale, but I took the time to write a script. And of a hundred other salespeople that did it before me, not one of them took more than five minutes. All right? It's about strategic preparation. Taking the actual time to prepare yourself. Writing out what you're going to say, structuring it in the exact right order, knowing what you're gonna, what tonalities you're going to use, what your stopping off points are going to be, where you're going to be adding on pain, how you're going to be lowering your action threshold, what's going to be your first pattern, your second pattern. You get it? This is what a great script is. Take the time to do it. Don't miss this step. If you've done it already, go back and do it again and make sure, like, just go through all those lessons and say, does it, is there any way I can make this better? Every little increment better is a gift you give to yourself, all right?